Hey good looking, my name is Kanye Sam Jungo. Um Ati Utigela, known in Taiwan, steamed in Konjanis in Yama is Papelima Fini. Oh no, my jala, oh no, maskatali, oh my dinkoa, nangai sansi, and welcome to my channel if you are new here thank you so much for joining and if you are a returning subscriber what it do baby happy 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 heritage day happy heritage month i hope the month has been treating you well you know it's september September. <laughs> it is September. Spring has sprung, and I see you guys looking good, living your best life. Please stay safe because COVID is still out here. But, anyways, on today's video, I will be taking you guys through how I actually painted my face. Um, with regards to the traditional painting as well as giving you guys a bit of background into you know the head wrap the actual face painting as well as the beads and the meaning um that the specific colors within the beads hold so if you guys are interested in learning a little bit about the Cossack people then let's get right into the video okay guys so i went ahead and did my makeup off camera i do feel i was a little bit heavy handed but it don't matter we move okay so i've got this head scarf little kick head scarf to protect my natural hair um because i'm gonna go ahead and wear the traditional head scarf which is called ikia i hope i said it right so this is worn by women um particularly married women and older women as a sign of respect to their uh, husbands as well as abandwasib kweni which is their in-laws um if you are a woman of a particular age and you are unmarried you can also wear it but i think um different colors represent represent that was english oh my god represent have um different meanings so you don't just wear any color however whenever and also you do have a choice um when, when you're not married you do have a choice between clear and um head beads called umgato which go around the head so yeah so wearing this there is no like strict way of wearing it clear you can wear it anyhow but most preferably you'd want the design to show so here goes um i will be looking into the mirror so please do not mind me so when i was mentioning the design i meant these particular beads usually you also have them on all three sides of the triangle it clears a triangular piece of material but in this case i only have it here so i just want this to sort of align with my the center of my forehead and then the side pieces would then be pulled together this is a bit complicated <laughs> so yeah So you'd want like the design on the outside to sort of show and then you'd want that middle parts in at the center of the forehead and then you can sort of wrap <laughs> so you can sort of wrap and hide the um, what is it the scarf that's underneath 
um you can cover your ears entirely it's up to you i'm not covering them because i do want to wear um earrings then you take a pin needle pin and you sort of kind of need to pull at these things sort of kind of pin there's this part which would be part one and then you can sort of pull and kind of arrange how you'd want you know your scarf to be obviously you gotta take your time and be careful when pinning things down because you don't want to hurt yourself so this is what it looks like so that's part one it's a head wrap that you wear as you know a sign of respect okay part two is the actual face painting so to do this it, uh, we traditionally use traditionally use well a white paste but your girl your girl your girl is gonna use calamine lotion as well as a cotton bud you know so shake things up um when it comes to the face painting um we paint our faces for various reasons but the most common reasons when we paint our faces because we are attending umgiti organi umchado you know some sort of celebratory event you know um ama ama kweta abu yendabini so we need to look good and go eat some meat literally so yeah when we paint our faces in this particular fashion it is because we are attending umgiti we're going to have a nice time a good time it's going to be fun times i really poked myself guys i hurt myself so there's no particular like what can i call it there's no specific like design that you have to do when going anyway it's literally up to you. your creativity you can be free you can run wild so the most common design is the one where you do like dots going um from one eyebrow and then down your nose and then below one eye that is the most common sort of design when it comes to the face painting so yeah other reasons for painting our faces are usually when it's like a a ceremony for a particular rite of passage i remember when i was younger don't particularly remember the reason why this particular ceremony was done but i was younger about seven or eight years and they painted my whole entire body with um umumf, which is red clay so my whole entire body was painted in red clay had a ceremony and it was there was gang meats and it was like all you can eat meat and the only thing i could eat was meat um but then also abakweta i think mama and abeni we paint them white before they go and then when they come back they painted all red so you know face painting or body paint there is always some sort of reason some sort of representation and it's usually you know at these points of um at these points of a rite of passage so it's never it's never just for the fun of it and also when we are doing this 
it's not just for the fun of it but we're trying to look cute trying to look good trying to be you know within so yeah because i'm just gonna pour a little bit of the lotion so i think you obviously know how to use the lotion so i'm gonna do sorry guys i am looking into my mirror try to make the dots as uniform as possible you know try to sort of have like a design you know and again you are free to to literally do whatever you want you are you can you can go ham because there's no there's no like structure when it comes to this there is no particular rule i guess so you can literally go ham i don't know why i like going ham but you can you can go ham then you can go over the dots that are either small or you know a bit too big that they I shouldn't have done that but yeah we move mm, and then I'm gonna do flowers so for a flower so like a biggish again circle and then with the smaller dots around it and that's it in terms of the facial painting so now i'm going to do something that i've never ever done before i'm going to be a little bit extra um i'm using a lipstick brush from my makeup kit um you could you could use the um, the cotton bud but i prefer not to and then can't speak now because like i'm waiting for for this thing to dry I'm so happy. I'm so so happy. So yeah, that would be it when it comes to sorry, the face painting. Just make sure you don't get calamine on any of your other things. 
so I painted my face now I'm gonna wear the jewelry so I've got these cute earrings made out of beads we will get into that just now I'm just gonna put those on okay so then we have beads we have a whole lot of different types of beads um that come as necklaces as bracelet bra bracelets as head pieces um so i'm just gonna go ahead and put this on um we've got different designs obviously this is a choker <laughs> this is what a traditional choker looks like so i would wear it hmm. i'd wear it if i wasn't wearing this um because you don't want to wear too much this line is disturbing me it's cute but it's disturbing me i might i might just start over yeah so your choker and then with the choker there's a matching bracelet which i am gonna put on i was putting it on the wrong way <laughs> um so in terms of beads we have the beads in different colors different vibrant colors um but obviously the colors have their own meanings and the beads themselves have their own meanings because traditionally the beadwork was made by a woman as a token of love for her man but because culture is evolving culture is changing women are wearing beads themselves um you know you can't necessarily hold on to that particular part of you know the the narrative rather so yes it was it was basically a love letter from the woman to her man but you know now we're just trying to look cute <laughs> just trying to be yeah but nah. so um you wear specific um pieces you know for 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 specific reasons you don't just wear whatever whenever which is actually what i'm doing right now <laughs> i'm wrong for this i shouldn't be doing this but yeah we 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 are here we're, we're here so the beads um are multicolored different colors have different meanings again the meanings are not set in stone um and they are not unique to the Kosa tribe um the Kosa nation the Kosa people um so obviously a lot of african um people use beads and you know so like with uh with beads and the colors you know again different meanings for different people but i guess the most common meanings would be um your black would be your your power and mystery but it can also represent death as well as evil you know there's gray beads which represents um, maturity stability you know security as well as authority your white beads your white beads just want to show you the white your white beads and your white paint because also these these beads and these colors can come in the form of paint so your white beads your white paints are purity and joy um and purple would be wisdom and royalty and then yellow would be for fertility um i know that's common in a lot of nations and a lot of cultures um yellow is the color of fertility um of joy and happiness and then green is the color of life the color of growth the color of freshness it's just you know 
impilo. I don't think this particular green though, it's too bright. Uh, maybe this green over here. Um, <laughs> and then blue, your blues would be your peace and your calmness. Um, and then red, red for passion, for assertiveness, for danger. Um, and orange is my word orange <laughs> for um courage self-confidence and vitality so these um these beads like i said it's not set in, the meaning is not set in stone and also usually like the designs um there's different designs with, di with different meanings as well as the color combination like if you put white and blue together which is very common and that's worn by married men as umkato or hamba you know almost all over the body like it goes from your neck down 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 you can't see but down here <laughs> so yeah so yeah this is the look that i've created um i hope everything that i've said made sense um I am going to fix this line. I'm not happy with how it came out, so I'm gonna fix it. But yeah, this is the look. Head wrap, face paints, beads. Um, oh yeah, let me talk about this top that I'm wearing. So um, usually we wear tops that do cover shoulders, but because Mina, <laughs> I am young, I am unmarried, I can show shoulders. Um, it's not like it's not like a rule that i shouldn't but i can but my full um my full attire you know my i've got a head scarf i've got like a it's not a top but it's something that goes in this particular area and then it's tied so i've got this and i've got this huge beautiful skirts and then I've got Ipai, like a small, a small wrap, small scarf. Shawl, I don't know what, it isn't in English, you know, a small nyana that actually covers me over here. So if I am wearing a vest, I am covered. And if I'm not, uh, if I don't want to take Ipai, I can wear like a, a t-shirt rather. Um, but it's again not set in stone i'm not obliged because they say things you know but once somebody decides to do the right thing then obviously the rules of the game kind of change but right now this is me <laughs> if you enjoyed watching this video please give it a massive thumbs up comment down below with istugosako your clan names um and any other questions that you might have questions compliments i'm taking it all um yeah thank you so much for watching and i really hope to see you on the next one toodles